hello guys welcome back to architecture world in today's episode we're going to be learning how to create our floor slab how to create our floor slab like let me go to the 3d so you see it very well so we're going to be learning how to put our floor slab here now i'm already true with the ground floor i want to put a slab on this part i want to put a slab so that's what we're going to be learning today how to slab this and also creating a border on the slab so please in case you have not subscribed to our channel kindly do subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell so you don't miss out all our classes thank you so first thing we need to do right now is study our model very well and know where the slab is necessarily needed so we'll dive in here i'll come down to this design icon i'll go down to slab i'll come down to settings dialog I'll activate it this part this determines the thickness of the slab so for you to edit this thickness of this slab you need to turn on the composite because it's currently not editable so you can see the moment i turn on this this uh composite i'm able to edit this slab thickness you can see there was slab thickness but if i leave it like this I can't edit it so i have to change it to structural so which enables me to edit it and now i'm using a, a slab thickness of 150 millimeter so i'm going to put my 150 millimeter then this offset to own body it means from the ground level which is zero to which height am i taking this slab to now from let me go back to 3d so you understand that offset to own body simply means it simply means that from from this ground level from this ground level right now this is zero this is zero so if i put in any command on that part it means i'm uh, me i want to take this slab from this zero command down to this command and the height of my dpc is 1350 millimeter 1350 millimeter so wherever you want to place this slab the height of this dpc or wherever you're placing your slab is what you have set to so let's go back let's go back to the slab come back to my setting dialog okay i turn this on i go to my 150 millimeter go to my 150 millimeter the offset offset to home button i'm, I'm going to put 1350 1350 meter you can see very well that's like it's flying from the ground floor which is zero to the up of my damp proof that's how it's going to go then i'll come down to override so this modeling you can see this modeling i'll turn on this top surface i'll turn on edge surface then i'll turn on bottom surface now the top surface you know what you want to choose i want to use i want to use ties that's ties turn 30 by 30 i'll choose this then i'll go to the edge the edge the edge simply means at the corner of the design what colors are you working with me i want to work with uh white so i could go for i'll go for glossary white let me look for it glossary white okay okay see glossary paint white now the under is not really the bottom is not really necessary because i'm not going down there let's assume this is the first floor slab where there is a a, a down a dance slab that require a design then i cannot introduce ceiling on this part if this slab is serving a story building that the dan is being designed i cannot introduce ceiling but since since it's on the ground floor i really don't need this ceiling but i'm just trying to explain it to you so every other thing here is perfect i'll just turn on my okay i'll come down to this spot you see this spot sometimes you might have yours in this uh, rectangular form or this uh rotated rectangular form so what i'm going to use i'm going to use polygonal so that it enables me to pick the design to pick the edges to pick all edges the way i want it it's going to make me pick all the edges so let's go i'll come to the first edge i'll put it here i'll i'll pick here i'll pick here you can see very well okay i'll come down to this spot i'll pick here I pick here, I pick here, I pick here. Okay. I 
Now, a situation whereby you have a column like this. Now, I'm having a column that is not going to enable me to pick the edge. This this part right now that I'm putting this console, this is the edge of this line. This is the edge of this line. But in a situation whereby you can't detect it, all you need to do, while it's still on this command, you go down to your, your grid lines, you, you, you pick this side icon, you create guideline. That's what you need to create. You come down to this spot, you click, you make sure it's on a on a straight wall. Make sure it's on a straight wall. Just make sure it's on a straight wall. Okay. You just have to make sure that this is on a straight wall. Got it. Now uh, you cannot pick the edge. Can I pick the edge? I have the same challenge here now. I have the same challenge. Yeah. Automatically, this is the guideline. Let me just show you. You can see it tallies. But in, let's assume you can't tally it. What you need to do is turn on the grid like I did previously. So I pick the edges. Make sure you're picking the edges because it's where you pick, you're going to slap. Make sure you pick in the edges. Then this this was my starting point, and this also my end point. The moment I click the end point, the slab is gonna activate itself. Let's check it out. Let's check it out on our trading. Okay, you can see you can see what we just created. You can see what we just created. The reason why I said the button was not necessary. You can see these are a ceiling on it, and it's not necessary because nobody's going down there. Depend on what you are designing. Now you can see what we just created. This is the size. This is the size. You can see this is the size. Then the reason why I choose this white at the edge is because I have a design that I'm working on that requires this white edge. So in a situation where you don't have a modeling that is similar to this white edge, all you just need to do is make sure that the edge is similar to the color you the the color you're using. So now the next thing I want to do, the next thing I want to do is that. I want to create, I want to offset this wall art like a form of a push art. Let's see. Let's see. First, first, if you observe very well, you can see that I have a wall inside and I have a slab here. In a situation like this, I'll go down to my ground floor. I'll click the slab. I'll come down to the spot. I'll click here. Then I'll drag uh, a end point here. Then I'll come down to the spot. First, I can't edit that because I have a column there. So I'm going to turn on the gu uh, the guideline. Okay. Then I'll pick another column here, another point, and keep it here. Then I will move this. I'll move this backward. I'll come down to offset edge. The moment I click offset edge, it simply means I'm only working on this particular section. But if I choose offset all edge, it simply means I'm working with the whole slab. So I'll place it here. Let's see what we just did. Okay, you can see it now. You can see how perfect it's looking right now. Yeah, you can see. So I got it. Now I have similar stuff like that here because this is an entrance to this, and I have another entrance to this. So which means I'm gonna create a, a, a new wall here. I'm gonna create a new wall here. Let's just put it somewhere here. Okay, so I'll do the same thing to this part. I'll, I'll pick my my guide, pick my guideline. Guideline is like you working on the straight line without any error. So always remember to pick your guideline. Then I'll come down to insert new node. I will insert it here. Then I'll take my guideline again. You only need the guideline here by what you are working it on is being blocked with a design or anything. So you, you take a guideline to get a better view of it. I've set this backward. I've set this backward. Okay. So I'm taking this down. Let's see what we just did. Okay, you can see we just have it here. Perfect. Perfect. So now now the next thing I want to do is how to offset. I want to offset this wall. You can see it's just sitting on it. I want to offset this wall. So I'll come down to my ground floor. I'll take this. I'll come down to this edge. I'll click. I'll go to offset all edge. I'll put a uh, hundred millimeter. Perfect. 
I'll come down to this spot because I don't need the offsetting to be here. So I'll come down to this spot. I'll choose offset all of these parts. I'll bring this back. I'll bring this back. I'll bring this back because I don't need it. I'll bring this back. Okay. I'll bring this back. Okay. This back. And then this back. Okay, let's see. Let's see. You can see we now have the push out here. We now have the push out. Uh, I think we're gonna need this. I think we're gonna need this due to we have a staircase here though. So let's just forget about it. So please don't forget to subscribe to our channel and turn on the notification bell so you don't miss out our amazing class. This is a simple way of how to create your calm flow slab. So if you want more lessons on this I, or you don't understand anything, you want the clarification, kindly hit the comment section and I'm going to attend to it immediately. Thank you.